Hey there. I thought I would record a quick video after somebody asked me for some help on this about how to do a full wrap mock-up for a mug. So this is my uh, latte mug with glitter file available in my shop and you can see that I actually have a layer in here already created for the full wrap with a little sample image inside of it. So basically what makes this different from the other layers is that um, it's selecting the entire mug shape minus the background. That's what you can see in this little mask over here. And then I've added some shading. I'm going to turn that off for a second. I, I did a little adjustment layer. And then um, in here is the smart object where you can put your wrap design. So. If you're coating this entire mug in like a pattern, what you would do is you'd double click and open this up, hide the one that's in there. I actually downloaded an abstract painting design here and I'm just gonna drop it in. This was free off of Pexels just for demo purposes for this, okay? Then you have to hit save because we're working inside of the smart object tab, which is this .psb tab, and then you can close it. When you go back to the original, you can see the design is laid on top. It doesn't look like it's rounded or shaped to the mug though, so that's why I added this optional shading layer. And I can show you really quick how I created that layer. So what you want to do is I'll hide that, I'll make a new one. So I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go in and select the mug shape. And I could do that either by going down to the original mug image down here and clicking on that, or I can just choose it from the mask up here. So let's go down to the bottom and click it from that. So this is where the mug is sitting all by itself. And if I command click on the picture, the layer thumbnail, it highlights and selects just the mug. Go back to our empty layer up here. We're going to change the foreground to black. We're going to get a brush. It's going to be a big fuzzy, soft, round brush. I'm going to actually, you can see it here, I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to hide the design for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this, this image of a mug and find where the shading parts are and where the highlights are. So you can see it's like a bright white over here and it's a little darker on this side because that's where the shadow is. And also there's some shading inside like the little interior of the handle and just up here at the top. So this isn't an exact science. What I'm going to do is just kind of grab my big circly brush and paint down the side of this mug wherever I think some shadows are. And yes, it's all dark. Don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> um, I'm just playing around in here thinking about where the shadows would show. Uh, maybe there's a little bit up here too, I don't know. Um, if I make a mistake, actually I think I don't want that there, I can open up my history tool palette and just do that. So I think this is probably good. So now I've sort of painted onto where the shadowy parts are and then I can just turn down the opacity until it's almost invisible. If I went to zero, it looks like this. Or to zero. If I start dragging it to the right, it um, gets darker. And what I'm doing here, when, when you saw me dragging, is I've, you can highlight inside where it says opacity and you can write a number, like 25% or 75%, or you can put your mouse over the word, the word opacity is and it turns into a hand with a little arrow pointing left and right and that means you can just drag to the left to make it lighter and drag to the right to make it darker. So that's just a little trick in there. Okay, so that's what the shading looks like. If I turn the pattern back on, you can see without the shading it looks fairly flat. With the shading it looks more like it has dimension and shape around it. And then I can deselect and I could save that out and that would be a full wrap design. So I hope this helps and if you have any questions do reach out.